Hey, it's Sunny here and welcome to Sunny DIY. As promised, I'm back with another DIY gift idea for your boyfriend or girlfriend. And those of you who know me knows that I love to turn cheap and inexpensive things into beautiful stuff that your loved one will want. So this week, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful artwork that only costs a dollar to make and takes no art skill at all. But whenever your boyfriend or girlfriend sees it, they will be reminded of your love and affection. If you make this DIY or any of my past DIYs, I would love to see them. Please send them to me on Instagram with the hashtag SunnyDIY. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And let's go DIY. I bought this framed canvas from the dollar store for a dollar. To turn it into something awesome, we are going to turn it to its back and use a piece of paper to measure out the space between the frame. Make a mark using your finger on the two edges of the paper and take it out of the canvas to fold it properly. Toss the paper back into the canvas to make sure the size is perfect. We're going to create the template of the design on this sheet of paper. A few things to pay attention to when you draw your design are to make sure the design touches the edge of the paper on all sides and at more than one point. And if you are drawing heart shapes like me, make sure each heart is connected to one another at more than one point. I kept my design simple and just drew a bunch of heart shapes in different sizes and I decided to have a combination of heart shape outlines and solid heart shapes. Once you are happy with your design, go ahead and cut out the area between the heart shapes where I'm shading and the inside area of the heart shapes. Be careful to keep the whole design connected when you cut and a X-Acto knife works a lot better to cut the in-between sections. Here is what it looks like when I'm done. I added a personal touch by including my boyfriend's name in the design. Next, I placed the template into the back of the canvas. Remember to flip it so the letters read correctly from the front. Then just trace the outline of your design onto the back of the canvas. Once you're done, you are left with the design. The last step is to follow the lines and cut out the area that are supposed to be hollow. For some reason, I get a weird satisfied feeling when I take out each piece. And I have to say, it looks really good when it's done. At this point, you can either leave it as it is or paint it to a different color using acrylic paint. But I'm going to cut out a print from a magazine and fit it to the size of the canvas by doing the same thing as before. And I simply secured it using some scotch tape and there you have it. Thanks for watching. I hope you will make it yourself. If you like this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more DIYs from me every Thursday, remember to hit that subscribe button and I will see you all next week. Bye.